Hey everybody, this is Tim Grutman. This is a tutorial on how to animate a cube and have it move between two points. So, using a Playmaker. So first I've picked up Playmaker in the Unity Asset Store. And this is a new scene. Okay, first thing, I'm just going to create a cube. So that I can animate the cube. There it is. Awesome. All right, now with Playmaker, I'm going to use Playmaker Add FSM to Selected. And now, I'm going to edit the finite state machine. All right, already it comes with a default state. I'm going to add two more states. Okay, did that by right clicking and cl selecting add new state. Now, if I right click the state, I can add a transition for each state. Add a transition, right click, add a transition. Alright, now if I left click in the dot 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 area and drag to the next state, I can adjust the, the flow. So we'll go from the first state to the second state, from the second state to the third state. And I want the third state to loop back to the second state. Alright, so far so good. Now I want it to transition to the next state by right clicking. When it, I want it to tra transition when it hits the finished. Alright, so I'll set finished. As the transition state for each of the each step. Okay, now on the first state, I want to add some variables. Okay, so I'm going to add some vectors for the original position. the target position. Click add. And a temporary position. Okay. Now in the first state I want to set defaults for each of these. So I click on the first state. I bring up the action browser. And I want it to set a vector value. So I'm going to add three set vector values by double clicking them. One, two, three. Okay. Close that. Okay, so now it's added, if I click on the state, it's added three actions. I want to select affect the original affect the target, and affect the temporary. Okay, so this will be the original position. I'll have it start at 1, 1, 1. The target, it'll move towards 5, 5, 5. And the temporary position can start at the original spot. I can switch between entering actual values or picking a variable by clicking that little button. So it'll start at the original. And it, this only has to happen one time, so I don't have to click every frame. Now for the second state, I want it to interpolate between the original and the target position. So I'm going to click on second state, go to the action browser, and then do the same, and it will call interpolate. Vector 3 interpolate. I'm going to double click that to add one, and I'll click on the third state, and it will also vector 3 interpolate. Double click it. Now, once it interpolates, we'll need to set the value. So, I'll click on the second state. 
type in set position. Click on the third state, add set position. Okay, that's done with that. And the second state, I'll just use a linear interpolation. I'll interpolate from the original to the target, and it will store the result in the temporary variable, and we'll do it over two seconds. After it's done, we want to set the position using the temporary variable, and we'll do it every frame. And the third state, we'll have it go from the target to the original, for three seconds, it will store the result in the temporary variable. It will set the position using the temporary variable, and it will do it every frame. Okay, now we can hit play and see what happens. It's in state two. Stop that. Edit the run it save machine. Okay, it's going from the target to the original, putting it in the temp. It's using the temp to set the position. Oh, it needs a finished event. So we're going to set the finished event to finished. Same thing on the other state. That way, when it finishes, it will switch states. Let's try that again. It moves to the target position, and it moves back. So the first state, it sets our initial positions. First state sets the original positions. Second state interpolates from the original position to the target position. Finishes switches to the second, the third state, and that interpolates from the target position to the original position, finishes, and it keeps oscillating between the second and third event. All right, hope you enjoyed this tutorial of animating between a cube to move between an original point to a target point and looping back and forth between the two states.